Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 36. All right. So the action attribute indicates where form data should be sent. For example, we would put uh, an action equals then this stuff uh, into the form, into the opening form tag right there. And it's going to tell the browser that the form data should be sent to the path, this thing right here. All right. Uh, so we're going to add an action attribute with the value of this URL to the form element. All right. Well, we're going to come over here to the uh, W3 school. So we'll go to action attribute in HTML and we'll come over to. The, I just said that anyway. Uh, so here's an example of it right here. So if we try it for ourselves, um, I mean, this isn't going to say too much, but you see it says action and then action uh, page dot PHP. Basically, it's sending whatever we put into this into these uh, over to this uh, action page dot PHP uh, file somewhere in the server or, or whatever. All right. So let's uh, talk about it. So the definition in usage, the action attribute specifies where to send the form data when a form is submitted. All right. And then uh, for the value, it's going to be the URL. And that's where to send the form data when the form is submitted. All right. Uh, and then possible values, we've got an absolute URL, which points to another website like this one right here. And then a relative URL, which points to a file within a website like uh, this one right here. All right. So basically, it's just sending it to a file or to a website to collect the information. All right. So we'll come over here and we'll say action like this action equals and then we'll do a string and then we'll just copy this right here with a little control C action and then do a control V right inside of this. Right. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 37 and we'll see you next time.